Hello everyone, today I want to demo how to improve the user experience on YouTube's website. There is something that have annoyed me during my usage of YouTube. During this demo, I will make changes to the CSS files downloaded on my local machine to fix, try to improve this user experience at least for myself. So. That means I'm not hacking, and secondly, the fix will not be seen by everyone unless YouTube's developer change this on their, in their source code and deploy it. Okay, let's get into it. So the thing have annoyed me is that you see the left hand side is a, a browser window you see that there is a secondary navigation here and uh, if I if I want to I know I know that this is a horizontal over scrollable place so I want to scroll it somehow but you see why I don't want the thing the tags on on this on this uh, in in these things I, I want to scroll to the right but when I scroll to the right you see that in the middle of the screen in the middle of the screen you see that there's the arrow indicating that if I release my fingers I will I will be taken to the next page and if I say I scroll to the left I the reverse happens also you see that um, let's try on Safari if I scroll to the left uh, scroll to the right you see the next page comes and if I scroll to the left the left the left page comes but it really is not what I want I just want to scroll this this array of chips on uh, material UI they call it chips so I just I mean I just want to scroll this array of tabs horizontally so I go I can go to different categories of videos okay so I've prepared the code that will do the job here if we inspect it again and go to the place where um, inspect the middle I think yeah that's, yeah it goes back and I see that there is an over scroll container right, el uh, element so I put the code I just copied into the inline styles and because it's I, I use different vendor prefix so this is uh, so so I, I actually only need these two properties for it to work on Chrome so if I uh, scroll with my two fingers on my trackpad now you see that smoothly everything works but actually there's a, a large strip of unused place which is easily can be easily fixed by JavaScript by using like something like scroll width you detect the scroll width and compare that to content width and those things and then prevent the default when it over scrolls right so yep and then so this one is fixed and then let's let's see Oh yeah, right. So I've I've got this uh, this scroll bar, which is kind of hinders my view on the on the array of tags. So I optionally I can add another pseudo element to get uh, to set the scroll bar hidden 
So it's uh, web case scroll bar, display, you know. works because it's I it's a it's not a good selector so actually I selected everything and it actually should uh, they should actually uh, compose it to select only this uh, secondary navigation here so yeah I think the UI is the user experience is improved at least for me and the UI is stay the same 